High school girls spend months and hundreds of dollars finding that perfect prom dress. But now some are being told that their gowns are just too promiscuous for the prom, with just one week left before the big night. Now they're afraid they won't be allowed inside the prom at all. It is the prom dress controversy that has everyone talking tonight. Hi everybody, glad you're with us. I'm Ann Craig. I'm Darren Kramer. Students from Shelton High School flooded our reported inbox with pictures of their dresses today. They say the principal waited until one week before the prom to announce that some dresses are too risque for the big night. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of anger tonight. And it's not just the students. Parents are furious about all that money that they spent could just be out the window now. News East Josh Scheinblum has their back tonight. He went right to the high school officials to get answers for those students who turned to us. News 8. Josh? And parents and students I talked to are angry. We've literally, literally received dozens of emails, tweets, and phone calls from concerned parents and students that their child may not be allowed to attend the prom because of what they bought for a dress. Now, the dresses you'll see in this story are just some of the ones that we got sent. Are they inappropriate? You be the judge. It's a very big deal. I mean, people plan for months. It's an exciting time of year at Shelton High School. Prom is only a week away. But talk to students and they'll tell you that feeling has changed after they say an announcement was made over the PA system. Our headmaster came over and said that there was like a whole new dress code for prom. And she basically said that the dress code uh, for prom needs to be appro more appropriate and there's going to be no uh, two piece dresses allowed, no open backs. Students say the announcement went on to threaten those who don't comply with the dress code guidelines that they cannot go inside the prom and no reimbursement for tickets will be given. And it was just really harsh. We were all like shocked that it came out and proms next Saturday, so there's no way none of us can, any of us can make changes. And if you think it's just students who are upset, think again. There's a, a slit up the leg, yes. That, that would be on the no list. Many parents like Marilyn Ferris are worried the hundreds of dollars they've spent on a dress, alterations, limo and flowers will all go out the window. This is a picture of her daughter, Kristen, wearing the dress she plans to wear. Now you know there are going to be people who are going to watch this story. Yes. And they are going to say, well, you know what? A high schooler shouldn't be wearing a slit with the leg anyways. And what would you say to them? Um, it is complete. If they saw it, they would completely agree that it's a very tasteful dress. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Now, News 8 did reach out to the superintendent and other school officials for a statement. They sent us this. It reads in part, we made sure that guidelines were set well in advance of this event so that both students and their parents were aware of our expectations due to the fact that in years past, some very questionable dresses were worn by a few to prom. Now, we don't want to be in a position to turn anyone away at the door. We want this to be a safe and memorable evening for everyone. And we have that whole statement over on our website. That's at WTNH.com. Darren and Ann. And Josh, I understand when they're talking about those guidelines, they were talking about the student handbook that's given out at the beginning of the year, right? Hey, let's talk about the dollars and cents of this all, okay? Because we all know prom is expensive. So how much money are these teens and parents spending on these prom dresses in the night? Hundreds. Uh, tonight I even met a woman who estimates her bill for her daughter this prom season has already come out to $1,200. And one teen told us her dress alone cost $400. Not cheap. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Josh, thanks. We'll be watching what happens there. We still have some unanswered questions tonight, like if a student's dress is deemed inappropriate and they can't go, they're turned away, is the family stuck for the cost of the dress? If it's been altered, usually you can't bring it back. We'll see what happens.